Cancer, it's Elle here to do your reading. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's happening for my Cancers. Okay, Cancer. What's happening for Cancer? What do we have for Cancer? What is going on for my Cancers right now? Oh, let me get my shells up. I didn't get the shells up for the last reading. Okay. Let's see. What is going on for Cancer? Okay, so the Queen of Cups. You could be kind of just off to yourself or somebody um, that you're dealing with is kind of off to, to themselves. Do you ever really go over your emotions here? It's like, how do you really feel about something? Um, kind of closed down, withdrawn. What is this about for Cancer? The Page of Cups, the Star card. Somebody could be trying to reconcile with you or you're trying to reconcile with someone. They're trying to give you an offer, but you, you're you not sure if you want to take to this. I don't know if you feel like you've been here before. You're trying to, they want you to forgive. Forgive, let's get back on the right path, the right page. Let's move forward. They're trying to take the lead in something or in this relationship. Uh, they're trying to recover the relationship. They put something out. They hope you take to it. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. You've been here before with the Death card, Six of Pentacles. Giving just enough so that you hold on and you hang in there. But this could be that you're ending a relationship or you need to end a relationship. Or a relationship has ended. And now someone's trying to, they feel like the ball is in your court. You know, you have the power now to say, yes, we're back on or no, we're not coming back together. The five of wands. I don't know if they're trying to confuse you or use other people to confuse you or get you to change your mind. Four of pentacles. But you want to know if this person has gone through like some type of healing work or you, you feel like they need help. They got some deep-seated issues, and the relationship is stagnant, stuck, and toxic. It's just unhealthy at this point, and you feel like they're trying to exert their will over you or on you, trying to force you into something. Let's see what is happening for my Cancers. What's happening for Cancer? Queen of Cups coming out again. It's just like you are trying to maintain... Your emotional stability. You don't need this person coming back destabilizing you. You're getting all wrapped up into them again and blah, blah, blah. Or this is how somebody feels about you. It's just like, no, not right now. Yeah, somebody wants to make up. It's make up to break up. You've been here before with this person. Maybe they'll buy you something nice or expensive or take you out. It's just hard work. You know, they want a renewal with you. And they're coming back and saying that they, they are renewed or they, you know, they've come to some... Come to Jesus moment. But look what came out. Weasel. is deception. A deceitful or treacherous person. And they get their achievements by, you know, being cunning or deceitful. They're slippery, sly, sneak, slick. I'll try to say that three times. All right. Slick, slippery, sly, sneak. Did it. You know, they're a weasel. They're trying to weasel their way back in. So they're coming to you under false pretense. Oh, I'm better. Oh, I'm going to do better. No, I'm not. With the page of cups again and with small offers. It says that maybe um, this person could be younger than you, um, emotionally immature, having dealt with some hurt from the past. This also could be indicative of um, the timing is off. This is a like a false start. Um premature start somebody's got to do some work on themselves before you know you guys can come back together what else do we have for cancer apply you may even be telling them you need to go apply to a job but no you need to go apply with that therapist that i told you about you need to go apply yourself elsewhere 
you may even be applying for a new job here or trying to yeah find a new job where you make more money um or you need to apply yourself or you need to apply pressure or someone is applying pressure you know diamante so i just learned this word um it's fake it's a uh, jewelry you know um just uh decorated with with fake jewels so it's like costume jewelry you know somebody's coming back to you fake they're trying to apply pressure but it's all fake it's false or they're trying to tell you that they've changed wow and then the real thing the diamond and a diamante or Dima somebody knows how to pronounce that um there's the real and there's the fake you may have come into this relationship real they may have come into a fake or it's the other way around someone could be telling you that they um they did something or they let something go or they they applied or they put the the um they put it in the paperwork. They lying. Let's see. Horse. So this or horses. This I don't know. It has something to do with horses, stables. So maybe somebody wanted to keep you in a certain place or a certain type of energy or a certain type of label on the relationship. Um. You could be their stable place because they're a horse. They're maybe a wild horse. They're. A, they're not tame. It's like they're not, you can't tame them. Either you or the other person got you know honest with themselves with the Queen of Swords coming out, and you just cut this off because it wasn't reciprocating. Something was taking more of you than it was giving. Let's get you some uh, advice cards. What is the advice for Cancer? Somebody's nickname could be horse. Somebody's wild, crazy. They have these wild, crazy moments. They just untamed, like an untamed wild horse. But then they want to come back into the stable. Mm. So somebody goes and do, does what they want to do, and then they come back to the stable. Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So love, I don't know. You know, maybe you need to love yourself more than you. You gotta project inwards and not outwards, okay? Um, let's see. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth. Somebody saw you as their stability or their stable. Okay. Uh oh, you're their palm tree, you're their resting place. You go lay up under a what palm tree. The horse comes into the stable. This is crazy as shit. So somebody just looks at you as like your home base. But they just go do whatever they want to do. Or this is what you do. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section who is crazy. Healthy choices. So yeah, you're deciding to make healthy choices. You know. Uh, in love and in life. Just self-love. Just being happy or choosing. Happiness is a choice. You don't fall into happiness. You don't meet happiness. You can't go buy happiness. You can't mix happiness up in a bowl. You can't smoke happiness. Um, happiness is a choice and it comes from within. So, yeah, some of you are just choosing to be happier. Healthy choices. All right. Or this is what you need to do. This is your advice. What is the advice for cancer? Really good, clear reading. Cancer. Healing heart. So, you, I think you're going to turn this person down who's trying to come back with this bullshit. You said, I need to heal. If anything, you're going to stall them out and say, okay, well, give me time. You know, it's not a yes, it's not a no, but give me some time. But it's really no, you know. Um, healing from a toxic relationship or addiction. Somebody saying, I like you. Not even I love you. You got love here. And then you got, I like you. Romance is blooming. Maybe you don't found somebody else, okay? That's what I'm talking about, Cancer. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. 
You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're a business-minded individual, let's connect on business. All links are below. Schedule your uh, complimentary discovery call. Join the KTMG. Keep the momentum going. Monthly conference call uh, where you are on a call with other uh, entrepreneur entrepreneurs. Um, thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one, and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.